السلام عليكم وي ستارت فروم جزء 29 اجين جزء 29 صورة آه المزمل فروم آية 1 اجين جزء 29 صورة المزمل فروم آية 1 ان شاء الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها المزم نصفه أو ينقص منه قليلا أو زد عليه ورتل القرآن ترتيلا إِنَّا سَنُلْقِي عَلَيْكَ قَوْلًا ثَقِيلًا إِنَّ نَاشِئَةَ اللَّيْلِ هِيَ أَشَدُّ وَطَأَوْ في النهار سبحا طويلا واذكر اسم ربك وتبتل إليه تبتيلا رب المشرق والمغرب لا إله إلا هو فاتخذه وكيلا واصبر على ما يقولون وهجرهم هجرا جميلا وذرني والمكذبين أولي النعمة ومهلهم قليلا إن لدينا أنكالا وجحيما أطعاما دا مصنت وعذابا أليما يوم ترجف الأرض والجبال يوم ترجف الأرض والجبال وكانت الجبال كثيبا مهيلا 
قارون يضربون في الأرض يبتغون من فضل الله وآخرون يقاتلون في سبيل الله فقرأوا ما تيسر منه فقرأوا ما تيسر منه وأقيموا الصلاة وآتوا الزكاة وأقيموا الصلاة وآتوا الزكاة وأقرضوا الله قرضا حسنا وما تقدموا لأنفسكم من خير تجدوه عند الله وما تقدموا لأنفسكم من خير تجدوه عند الله وخيرا وأعظم أجرا واستغفر الله واستغفر الله واستغفر الله إن الله غفور رحيم صدق الله مولانا العلي العظيم جزاك الله كاريانوس thank you again mashallah beautiful recitation and uh, tonight we have a guest speaker it's my privilege and honor to introduce our sister from our community shaista kilji um, to be a guest speaker tonight, and she's a professor of human and organizational learning and internal affairs at George Washington University, uh, and also founding editor in chief uh, of the Southeast Asian Journal, uh, author of many blogs, and also a sister from a community uh, to be a guest speaker. Over to you, Shaista, and welcome. Thank you, Roman. Uh, Bismillah rahman rahim Assalamu alaikum, my brothers, sisters and the entire ICCP community. I'm truly honored to be invited to share my reflections of our nightly Ramadan Zoom sessions. It has been a blessing to be asked because as Ramadan wraps up, I've been compelled to reflect on what this Ramadan has meant for me and how special ICCP has made this Ramadan for all of us despite the lockdown. In my reflection today, I would focus upon both of these aspects. That is what this Ramadan has meant for me and the joy, peace, and inspiration that ICCP management, both our Imams, Karianas, and the entire community bring for me. I have a confession to make though first. Um, I'm feeling quite nervous as I speak because for me, and probably for many of you here, this is a space where we listen. If you're expected to speak for a living, um, as I am, then let me say there's so much joy in listening. I recommend it highly. I also feel nervous because I don't think I'm qualified to speak giving, given my very limited knowledge of Islam. Like many of you, I come to ICCP to learn, feel, and connect. Therefore, I hope what I say makes sense to 
all of you, but it also honors the knowledge that both of our Imams share with us. Let me start my reflection with Rumi. In his famous poem, The Guest House, Rumi states, this being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival. Be, be grateful for whatever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. There's so much power in this guest house imagery that Rumi portrays. Um, first, it reminds us that our lives are temporary um, and um, this world is also temporary. But as I read these words, I believe that Rumi also reminds us of our humanity and our experiences. For the purpose of this reflection, I want to emphasize the guide because I view ICCP with this programming, the two Imams, Karyanas, and its inclusive and compassionate values that it lives every single day as the God sent spiritual guide. Only Allah knows if we've grown in our dhikr and in our love for him and in our love for Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But if we have, then ICCP has contributed immensely to this growth. I also want to highlight the power of gratitude. During this lockdown, ICCP has brought us together from our living rooms and ensured we've been fed spiritually. I want to express my gratitude to ICCP management for keeping us connected, most importantly, for helping build our emotional and spiritual resilience during these challenging times. I don't think I would be exaggerating if I say that this has been a special Ramadan for all of us. We started it in lockdown and lived through it still in lockdown. As Brother Tarif mentioned in an earlier session, we had trepidations. How would we pray? How would we get together for iftars? And how would we feel spiritually connected? Both Brother Tarif and Brother Tariq reminded us to stay positive. Brother Tarif reminded us that this is not a random act. It's Allah's decree with his infinite wisdom. Hence, we should be in total contentment. He asked that we flip our anxiety, place our complete faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and enter Ramadan appreciating its beauty and abundance. He also reminded us that Allah says, I am as you think of me. He urged us to treat this calamity as the means for healing and return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He asked us all to focus on the blessing, blessings of Ramadan. What a meaningful reminder. Brother Tariq said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives and takes. Sometimes he takes so that we can reflect. Despite all the complexity and uncertainty, it is still Ramadan, he reminded us. It's the month of fasting, it's the month of Quran, dhikr, forgiveness, opening, and blessings. He encouraged us not to despair, not to give up, and to make the most of this month. What a beautiful reminder. It has been the greatest Ramadan for me because I've had more time and opportunity to pray, to read Quran, and also find quiet time for dhikr, sometimes alone and sometimes with my 12 year old. It has also been the greatest Ramadan because ICCP allowed us to connect virtually. These Zoom sessions were highlights of my day. I look forward to them every single day because I know that I'm going to walk away with a new reminder and inspiration, a book, something new, something meaningful to reflect upon and practice. I'm just going to list um, a few of them that stand out for me, a few reminders. I learned that Surah Yasin speaks to the miracle of Quran, that Quran can fall upon a heart and revive it. The theme of Surah Al-Baqarah is that things aren't what they appear. How true is that in our lives? Our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala transcends all seasons. Ha mean as an invocation of protecting a calling on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the benefit of reading it seven times to protect ourselves. The importance of staying in wadu. Surah Muhammad asks us to strive. The importance of obeying Rasulullah, studying his character and living our lives in the shadows of his beauty. Reaching out to Allah, accepting that we're poor and he's rich, believing that he's the source of anything and everything. 
and the pro proper etiquettes of dua as defined by Imam al-Ghazali. I could go on and on. As I reflect on these Zoom sessions collectively, I went, want to mention one of my biggest regrets in life, which has been my failure to learn and read Quran with this complete tafsir. When you grow up as a Pakistani, you're taught to love and read Quran. This love for Quran is ingrained deeply into every fiber of your being. Hence, it's not uncommon in my experience for Pakistanis to hear Quran and cry, like I do every time Brother Anas recites Quran and makes a dua. I have no idea what he's saying, um, unless I use Quran Explorer, but I know that his recitation reaches my heart and touches my heart. What these daily Zoom sessions have done for me is further open up the beauty and wisdom of Quran in its meaning. And these have strengthened my desire to reflect more and read more. And I've begun to see integration of surahs and ayahs from Surat Al-Fatiha to the end. Hopefully before I return to Allah, I will read and complete the seer of Quran, inshallah. What I've learned and it has been reinforced to me through this Ramadan that when hearts are connected and efforts are authentic, we don't necessarily need a physical space to gather. We can be together meaningfully in our spirit, in our love, and in our compassion for the one, in our love for his beloved messenger, and in our love for each other, as we've done every single night this Ramadan. I want to make sure to mention that nothing Brother Tarif and Brother Tariq say goes unheard. The book that Brother Tariq has mentioned are already on my bookshelves. In particular, I want to mention al Mazi's al Shamail book, which Najia, Maliha, and I are using to reflect and discuss every single Sunday. Our laughter, our struggles, a common sense of identity, quest for learning, unlearning, and a search for shared meaning is what continues to bring us together. Brother Tariq and Brother Tarif, whatever you share gets passed on even beyond this ICCP community, hopefully in our actions, reflection, and dhikr. In my case, it also gets passed on to my sisters and my students at GW. If I'm teaching humanistic and responsible leadership and I focus on human dignity, well-being, inclusion, and respect, this is by no means an accident. Despite being an academic whose job in traditional terms is to know, I've internalized that we know nothing. I teach it as an unowned view of life in my classes. In the end, please bear with me and allow me to be an academic just for a few seconds. I believe that we all engage in sense making in order to create a coherent understanding of the world. Although we know it is vast, it's complex, and it's even messy. We do that to enable us to act, think, organize, and lead meaningfully, and hopefully with a sense of responsibility. This sense-making is based on our human nature and also our experiences gained through texts, conversations, agents, and activities that we conduct and encounter throughout our lives. In my life's journey, ICCP community with its members, our Imams and Kari and us have become the agents for this enabling and empowerment. And the daily discourse of the Quran, Prophet Sunnah are the texts through which I've begun to not only make sense for myself, but also give sense to my students and to my family. Thank you for breaking and then making sense for me every single day throughout this Ramadan. I hope that this virtuous circle of learning, framing, reframing, and sense making continues to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by his mercy and his guidance. I would like to conclude by saying again in Rumi's words, come, return to the root of the root of yourself and be with those who help your being. I also leave you with a brief message from my son, Wise. He wants to thank Allah for making him fast all of this Ramadan. He says it was only possible because schools are closed. Yet again, I'm reminded of Allah's mercy. I will use Brother Tarif's words to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to heal us from the inside 
May he set our hearts and souls straight. May he turn our hearts to him. May we all gain his favors and may we always stay connected as a family. Ami, and thank you. Jazakullah, Sister Shaista, thank you again for your kind words and joining us tonight. What a beautiful uh, intro and talk about everything about ICCP. And with that, uh, I will hand it over to Imam Tarif to continue our tonight's program. Thank you again. Yeah, uh, first, Jazakallah, Sister Shaista, for the inspiring words. You really have lifted us, and Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, a manifestation of Allah's blessings and mercy for all of us. And we're blessed to have you as a member of our community. And SubhanAllah, together, inshallah, as a community, we thrust forward. By Allah's mercy and rahmah, bi idnillah. Barakallah fiqh, may Allah reward and bless you and your family. And every single person uh, attending this session, may Allah fulfill all of your needs and all of your hopes beyond your imagination. And join us together, not only in this world, but bond us together in Jannah, reclining on thrones facing one another. With that, I'll turn it over to Anas. Um, Anas, please, inshallah, if you can finish us with a dua, and inshallah, I'll translate in English. اللهم يا ربنا أسعدنا بتقواك ومتعنا برؤياك العظيمة يا الله جمعنا مع نبيك الكريم المصطفى ربنا صر الإسلام وأعز المسلمين ربنا تقبل منا هذه الأيام المباركة ربنا وإنك عفو كريم تحب العفو واعف عنا فاعف عنا وأكرمنا وأسعدنا بتقواك ومتعنا برؤياك العظيمة يا الله جمعنا مع نبيك الكريم ومصطفاك ربنا تقبل منا ربنا صرنا على من عادانا اللهم قربنا منك وحببنا في صلاة الجماع ربنا 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 ذكرنا بالموت في كل ساعة اللهم احشرنا مع نبيك المصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم إنه صاحب الشفاعة اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من قلب لا يخشع ومن علم لا ينفع ومن نفس لا تشبع ومن عين لا تدمع ومن دعاء لا يسمع اسمع دعاءنا فأنت قريب تجيب الدعوات يا أكرم من سئل اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من عذاب القبور ومن ذلة الصراط نعوذ بك من أهوال يوم القيامة وروعتها ربنا جعلنا نخشاك ربنا جعلنا نخشاك ربنا تقبل منا هذه الأيام المباركة وصلاتنا وصيامنا وخشوعنا اللهم بلغ نبيك وحبيبك منا الآن أفضل الصلاة وأزكى السلام اللهم اشرح بالصلاة عليه سدورنا ويسر بها أمورنا وفرج بها همومنا واغفر بها ذنوبنا وثبت 
بيت بها أقدامنا وبيض بها وجوهنا وقض بها ديوننا وأصلح بها أحوالنا اللهم تقبل بها توبتنا واغسل بها حوبتنا وانصر بها حاجاتنا واغفر بها زلاتنا اللهم اجعلها نورا من بين أيدينا ومن خلفنا وعن إيماننا وعن شمائلنا ومن فوقنا ومن تحتنا وفي حياتنا وفي مماتنا ربنا إنك كريم ورحيم فتقبل منا هذا الشهر الكريم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما ينصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين يا الله يا أرحم الراحمين يا أكرم الأكرمين يا الله you are the owner of grandeur and nobility you're the deliverer of mercy the acceptor of tawbah and repentance يا الله you are the light of the heavens and the earth. We beseech and ask you by every beautiful name that that you have, Ya Allah, that you called yourself with, that you delivered to us, Ya Allah, or that you have kept in your knowledge, in your secret knowledge, Ya Allah. We ask you by every beautiful name and attribute, Ya Allah, that you bless us on this beautiful night of Ramadan, Ya Allah. Immerse this gathering, Ya Allah, that is in, that is in attendance. Immerse it in your rahmah, Ya Allah. Do not let any sin, any sin except that you forgive it, Ya Allah, on this at this moment, Ya Allah, any stress that anyone has, Ya Allah, in this gathering, except that you relieve it, Ya Allah, any calamity that anybody has, except that you remove it, Ya Allah, any sickness that anyone has, Ya Allah, except that you heal it and cure it, any afflicted person in this gathering, Ya Allah, except that you restore them and lift them, and Ya Allah, that you encourage them and support them, Ya Allah, any youth, Ya Allah, except that you guide them. Any person, Ya Allah, that is in difficulty, that you grant them ease, Ya Allah. We ask, Ya Allah, we ask, Ya Allah, for you are the pardoning one and you love to pardon. Pardon us, Ya Allah. Pardon us, Ya Allah. Forgive us. Forgive our mistakes and shortcomings, Ya Allah, and sins. And wipe them from our records as if they've never existed. Raise, raise us in rank. Raise us in honor. Raise us in nobility. Increase us and do not diminish us. Honor us and do not humiliate us, Ya Allah. Prefer us and do not prefer over us. Be happy with us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, save our necks. Save our necks from the hellfire on this beautiful, blessed night of Ramadan. Choose us to be among the dwellers of Jannah al firdaus Ya Allah. Bless our community. Bless ICCP, Ya Allah. Make it forever a shining beacon of nur, Ya Allah. Make ICCP a means, an eternal means, Ya Allah, bringing hearts together. A place where your name is mentioned, Ya Allah, where the poor are aided, Ya Allah, where, t- where tears are shed for your remembrance, Ya Allah, where sujood is made and where the youth are guided, Ya Allah, where everyone is healed, where, you, where families are united, Ya Allah. It is the honor and the dignity, Ya Allah, that you bestow upon us, Ya Allah, that matters, Ya Allah. Grant us honor, grant us dignity, Ya Allah. Join our hearts and, and minds and souls together under the umbrella of ICCP, Ya Allah. Do not deprive us of its gift, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we ask, Ya Allah, that you allow us, Ya Allah, to be among those who take care of your mosque, who take care of the blessings that you have given us, Ya Allah. Allow us, Ya Allah, to preserve those gifts and to honor them, Ya Allah, and to embrace them, Ya Allah. Multiply those gifts, Ya Allah. Bless our community. Surround our community with your care, Ya Allah. Forever, Ya Allah, and forever, Ya Allah. Allow us to be among those servants of yours that please you, Ya Allah. Allahumma ameen, Allahumma ameen, Allahumma ameen. Wa salli lahumma ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.